Hey, Adam Colbertson here. Before we begin, we got a promo from another independent podcast, so when you finish this episode, make sure you go and check them out. Monsters, demons, ghosts, and oh my, I didn't see you there. You really spooked me. Just like my podcast, The Paranormal Burrito. We're a weekly podcast featuring a new guest every episode. So join us for fun and spooky stories. If you have a spooky story you'd like to share, email us at theparanormalburrito at gmail.com. The Paranormal Burrito, your true stories. Steal your mind for eldritch horrors of the universe unknown. For what is to follow is a tale of intrigue mystery, and madness. You're listening to Microphones and Monsters. That is a name I have not heard in a in long, a long, time. long time. <laughs> <laughs> but like your question on on the the sky and the forest, and like I said, I welcomed you to my little piece of space that I've made. Hmm. Huh. Well, I think I'm what beginning happened? to understand a little better. The things that are out there cannot get you here. Uh, what happened to the last um, people that came here? Because when we spoke with the shopkeeper, they said that there were some people that came here about eight months ago. And people in the town, at least travelers in the town, end up just staying here. Why would they leave? I mean, to be fair, like I'm very tempted myself. <laughs> What is a man? <laughs> a miserable pile of secrets. <laughs> but no, uh, most people that wander upon this village end up staying because when you can have everything that you want, why would you leave? Okay. That actually brings up a very interesting point because... You you do seem to be um, quite powerful, to what I can gather. Um, I don't suppose that you might have any way of being able to maybe perhaps uh, help return someone to me? Kat would like to know if you could materialize people who may be either dead or in a different dimension. Close enough. Cat. <laughs> hmm. Well, what, do you want me to say pussy? Because I'm not doing that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I do not have that power. Well, then, unfortunately, I don't really have a reason to stay. A uh, <laughs> uh, cat doesn't want to stay because you can't do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what could you do to help us defeat the pallid mask? Here's, no, here's, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to lean in close. Hmm. We need an artifact. We need <clears throat> the silver key to get she back. She perks up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, to get back to where we come from. Uh, we know that the pallid mask has an interest in the silver key. Um, in fact, there's a lot of people that have an interest in the silver key. Um, we, we need to get back to where we are from because uh, we left our uh dimension to find uh 
someone from that dimension and goes by the name of Dalton Renfield. I don't know if you've heard that name before. She shakes her head. Mm -hmm. uh, Dalton uh, Renfield uh, is in very close association with the Pallid Mask. Um, you might even say they're the same. Some would even say that they may even be the same person. Some people might even say that uh, Dalton uh, left our world and came into this world and manipulated it into becoming the Pallid Mask. Well, he does have a way of manipulating people to follow him and become vessels. Mm -hmm. And he's very yellow. Um, <laughs> uh, so... What I would say is we we can assist you in getting rid of our uh, common adversary, as it were, but we do need assistance finding the silver key so we can get back. Hmm. The silver key is a very powerful artifact. W we are aware. The reason we don't know where it is is we stopped him from getting it. Yes, he was able to obtain, or almost obtain, the silver key in our world, and we stopped him before he could utilize it to the way he wanted to. Mm. I did sense uh, a strong power from you three. I imagine you would be able to at least hold your own against this extension of him. Well, Father Dagon couldn't kill us. Father Dagon, you said. Um... <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's but, that's how that's how we got lost. That that may not entirely be accurate. I think it may be more accurate to say that he didn't kill us. Um, we were uh we were in a uh, uh another town or another city rather all the way underwater. And, uh, we yeah, and you got lost uh, and we, ended we up in my. Forest. Yes. It is um, perhaps a long story. I understand. Yeah, fa Father Dagon almost killed us. Yes, he almost uh, um, uh, destroyed uh, my uh, friend Victor here. We were able to... <sighs> we were able to... Um, heal the damage that he did but um yeah we would and, and but he only got that damage done after i bit him <laughs> and then i am going to oh, no! alter self <laughs> and i just rolled hold on hold on let me double check because uh, i heard i, need to, I heard the I, roll in the back <laughs> yeah yeah dice. i rolled hold on i need i need to double check check this here um how does it work Whatever. I rolled a 17. I forget how much I get to add. I think it's my intelligence bonus. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, no, it can't be I that. Know. I don't have an intelligence bonus, so it can't be that. But I okay. rolled a 17 anyway. So I probably so look you like look, Father you stand Dagon up and, and you look like a little mini Father Dagon, and she's just like, <laughs> oh, that is entertaining. <laughs> I bet him real good. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is exactly the response we wanted to get from her. <laughs> and then I'll just turn back and okay, I don't okay. want to stay as Father Tagon. I did that for dramatic effect, and I was just so pleased that when I rolled it, it worked. Because I was going to tell you that I rolled anyway. But well, that is an interesting yeah. ability you have there. I guess we all have our different forms. Yes, I, I suppose you could say that. I, I don't this is this is who I am. I'm just gonna look around the room just like, oh yeah, I, I'm the I'm the normal one. I forgot. <laughs> so we we we've been through it as it were and and we're no stranger to Love. Uh, God <laughs> What the fuck? Got him. <laughs> Listen, lady, you know the rules, and so do I. <laughs> um, um, yeah, we're we're no we're no stranger to uh uh peril or um 
uh, insurmountable odds, as it were. Um, so could you, if we were able to uh, get rid of the pallid mask, would you able to help us find the silver key? That's exactly what I was about to offer you. Um, yes, I believe I can help you acquire the silver key. Um, it's, uh, let, me, let me be very specific of the way I worded it. I said, will you? Yes, if you, if you help me by destroying the pallid mask and keep him from connecting with the greater power that he is, I can help you. I will help you. <laughs> that's, and, that's, and I was just like about to raise a finger. Just like, mm, okay. <laughs> well, I, I imagine, I imagine I you did raise a finger and then she said, I, I will <laughs> help you. <laughs> if you're making dealings with powerful dealings, you need to get that shit yeah. in writing. <laughs> and I hope you understand we're being very cautious and guarded because you do seem very powerful. Oh, yes, of course. Is there anything else that you would require of us? What? 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 Aside from that. Well. Or is it a one-for-one one exchange? I can sense that... You three need rest. You need relaxation. And you need just a little bit of time to indulge. Uh, when you put it that way, I definitely could use some. Uh, Inside check. <laughs> yeah. Sure, I will. I'm rolling <laughs> high today. I will also do an inside <laughs> check because that seemed very That would be sus. a 24. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I will do an inside check. That's a 20. Right. 19 so on as die. She, Jesus. Okay. Alistair, Alistair will not be making any inside check. He is buying it hook, lock, hook right. line, and sinker. Well, your, your high rolls. <laughs> like a fish. Uh, she, she smiles after she says that, like very seductively. Um Mm -hmm. Both of our eyebrows like skyrocket <laughs> to the top yeah. of our heads. And, uh, <laughs> and you genuinely, she's genuinely offering you rest. Okay. But, but we slept 16 hours. Oh, I'm not talking about <laughs> sleep, honey. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Julian is sweating <laughs> nervously now. Maybe she's really attracted to Dave. <laughs> no. no. Um, whatever. Oh, don't get me wrong. Um, no. But. <laughs> oh, boy, it sure is hot here. Oh, boy. We deserve rest. Whatever, whatever you want to spend a day here. Indulge in whatever relaxation techniques, whatever makes you comfortable. It will be accommodated here. You got a kitchen? <laughs> of course. I suppose you already answered my, my biggest question with that, but I suppose there are a few other things that would be nice. He likes your offer. Can't imagine why you wouldn't. Um... But yes, anything in this town is at your disposal. I I have a question. Yes. Um the people in the town um are they people like myself and Victor and kind of Alistair? He called Victor <laughs> a person. Um or are they manifestations that you created? Oh no. They came here. They worship me. They're just as much of, oh, okay. you say, people as you are. Okay. Well, just that the, the, they were, you did not create them. They existed before you were here. Of course. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, um, wherever they came from. Yeah. Um, and you're not expecting us to worship you. Oh, no. Okay. This is a mutual. Because um, Haster tried. <laughs> oh, yeah. Haster did, did try. That didn't go no, well if, for the, co the If you want to worship me, go on ahead. <laughs> but I do not require worship. 
I want to be friends first. I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of commitment. <laughs> I, need a couple of, I need a couple of dates before mm. we go steady. <laughs> Men and women can't be friends. <laughs> I'm quoting when Harry okay. met Sally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for I'm just waiting for uh, Lady Walsh to do the fucking fake orgasm in the middle of the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's I'll have not. what she's having. <laughs> let's let's just not yeah. do that, okay? Yeah, no. no, no, that would make me Max as a person uncomfortable, and it would make <laughs> Jillian as a character double uncomfortable. And who knows how Billy Crystal would feel about all this? Mm. <laughs> He'd probably laugh, but of course. Feel free. You don't have to stay in this building. You can go anywhere in the town and um, just return here when you're done. And I have something for you and I will get you out of here. Back into the danger. Well, when you put it that way. So, so Richard's <laughs> saying the podcast. Is that what this is? <laughs> <laughs> No, because Alistair definitely has one big major goal that has to be mm. accomplished that uh, he still has to leave the, uh, the yeah. village for. Right. Might just give up on Tulsha after all. Although, <laughs> although um, well, why do you think the first thing that he asked was what yeah, he asked? Yeah, right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I do have one question that I, I really hope that someone will translate well for me here. Um. So, perhaps, say, at some time in the future, if I were to accomplish my goals um, to the full fruition of what I desire, uh, would there be a way to, say, return here? He wants to know, as soon as we're done killing the pallid mask, if we can come back, which is very strange. That because is the whole... No, no, no. That is not oh, what it, I mean. It, it, he... He wants to know if there's a way he can accomplish what you said you couldn't if he could come back. I'm sorry, I didn't get any of that. Um, what what did he say? <laughs> he He asked if you could bring someone back who had been who was gone. He's asking if he accomplishes that. If he and that person could come back here. Hmm. Do you think you'll accomplish that on this world? <sighs> Unfortunately, I doubt that it would be on this world. He doesn't think so. You are more than welcome to come back here whenever the time is right, and I'll find you. That does bring me some comfort. Thank you. He said thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything else I could do for you right now? I hate to have to ask this, but I have to eat people who have died. Are there any of those here? <laughs> that I could cook for myself. <laughs> Good clarification. Makes it so Good, much better. <laughs> you know what? You know what? It was I will not kill anyone. I just need to know if there are dead people here that are free. They're up for grabs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you don't want to take one somebody already claimed. No, no, no. Yeah. no, no. That's, that's just being rude. You got like a cemetery, you know. Um, we do not have a, we do not a, have a cemetery or a crypt. Um, although... Whatever sustenance you need um, can be found here. <laughs> I get this door. <laughs> <laughs> no, there will not. You will not have to purchase food here. There are other crypt folk that need dead flesh to survive, and the food is here. If you request it, you will have it. Thank you. <laughs> Just don't ask where it came from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like creating dead bodies with the right dead person magic juice in them. <laughs> dead person magic juice. <laughs> like, no, it's it's actually a substitute called I can't believe it's not people. <laughs> I can't believe it's, I can't believe it's not bugbear. 
Hmm. It's called Soylent Green. <laughs> they call it. They call it possible. Possible. Meme. <laughs> uh, but yeah so so uh what do y'all want to do like like as your time to relax and do whatever you want to do um i'm actually uh going to stay um or at least i'm gonna wait for uh alistair and victor to leave uh, and I'm actually going to stay at the Lady Walsh's okay. house, or rather, I'd like to have a conversation with her um, when both of them leave to go wherever okay. they're going. Um, I'll, I'll uh, actually kind of ask uh, Victor if he might accompany me for just a minute. And uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Victor. Sure. Um, would you mind helping me really quick with uh, locating a uh, a library of sorts? I'm yeah, no problem. I'm I'm going to stay here and speak with uh, Lady Walsh um, a little more about something uh, more personal to me. Okay. All right. Coolio. All right. So, <laughs> Alistair, Tra- s- stop trying to make Coolio happen. <laughs> All right. So while I. It's already happened. <laughs> so whenever Alistair and Victor leave the house, uh, Julian, you are left alone with Eliana. Okay. I I also um, need something else um, as more of a, a personal note. Um, and I, I'd rather not uh have the two of them worry about it um i'm gonna actually uh because i'm wearing the coveralls mm-hmm. still um i'm going to actually kind of take off the top part of my coveralls and take off the kind of shirt that's underneath it so she can see like the top half of my body okay. naked oh my <laughs> <laughs> um and all of the the marks that happen from the star vampire. Yes, because they're still there. Um, they're still there. And um, I was a, attacked in Savetus. And I was basically almost bled dry to a, a shriveling, shriveled nothing of a person. And uh, my companions were able to nurse me back to health but something something was different after that um i i tried to uh eat and and drink um a, a little bit of alcohol it's it's a guilty pleasure of mine unfortunately but um none of that sated me I'm. I, I'm still. I'm still wanting. I'm still. I, I've. I've never been more thirsty than I am in my entire life, and I can't. I can't fix it. And I've. Know a little bit about medicine, being a doctor and all, and. I. It's. I've tried in. Im- imbibing um, some blood that I had on me because this seems like a, a classic case of, of vampirism but it it, it didn't work um, I, I, I don't know what to do hmm. and I don't want to I don't want to be I don't want to be the same reason why people uh, close to me are hurt again. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem like your thirst is... It's not killing you, is it? No, it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't seem like it is, but it's... it's 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 maddening it's 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 a sensation that won't go away and 
and no matter what I try to satiate it, it 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 never stops. I don't I don't know how to. Well, I did sense something was different about you, um, but I would say you kind of fit in the category that uh, Victor Stodge does, um, but a little different. Um, have you tried living blood? No, I haven't. I haven't tried um, freshly drawn blood yet, no. I believe that might be your answer. I'm... But your body is changing. Your physical makeup is mutating. I... And this creature, um, was it invisible? And then was visible um, with your blood in it? Yes, it was. Mm. Or at least, um, that my my friends uh told me as such. And you survived, um, barely. Hmm. I can't say that's ever happened before. But yeah, it was a star vampire. Uh, somebody must have sent it after you as a assassin. I would imagine, no doubt, probably. the pallet mask. Someone, yeah, no doubt it was the pallid mask. Um, so I, I need to, I don't think I'll be able to, um, uh, be able to, uh, help in, uh, taking down the pallid mask and, until I, until I figure out the situation, w what to do. Um, I don't know if there is a way to, to, to cure this or at least treat this it's like I said it's it's foreign to me hmm. well I don't know of any cure or treatment never seen this before any any anybody that's ever come across a star vampire has been dead guess I'll uh, I'll count myself lucky then um, if you could uh, maybe uh, supply me with some uh, volunteers and I will uh, I'll put your suggestion to test Hmm. I can make accommodations. I would appreciate it, and I would also appreciate your discretion uh, with this information with Alistair and Victor. Of course. I don't want... Yeah. Um, if there's anything that I need to do personally to... do for the information that you gave me um, please let me know but I would ask that this be between you and I and not involve those other two like I said of course Usu come here she would be willing to help you okay don't kill her I'll no no I don't I'm not in the uh the, the the business of killing people in I'm very curious about this as well I want to she likes to I, I want to watch <laughs> 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 okay um so I'll have you grown um, any tendrils um any suckers anything like that she's very <laughs> curious like she's trying to like uh -huh. is it just the just the holes, just the the bite marks. As far as I can tell, I, I mean, I don't, I don't feel anything on my. I'll check my mouth. You know, there's, I'll, I'll take the mask off because I don't normally do that. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll go ahead and take my mask off and kind of feel around. There's no like suckers or anything like that. It's just my normal hmm. face. Yes, 
Um, um, let me see what's underneath uh, one my gloves, and I'll take the gloves off too. Hmm. And there's nothing different uh, about your mouth. It? Yeah. Huh? I'll, I'm staring at my hand. Um, that wasn't there before. Oh, what's that? Um, and I'll just go look in like the, the, the palm of my hand and look at like a, a kind of a, a hole a little bit with like kind of barbs around the edge of the hole. Oh, so you do, um, you have changed a little. Yeah. Hmm. Um, you're small. Uh, I, I don't imagine that, um, you would need much blood. Um, no, I don't think I need much blood at all. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, can you, um, I, uh, um, as, uh, Uso, right? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, excuse me. And I'm going to, um, use my right hand and I'm going to like grab the edge of her neck. Okay. And attempt to, uh, bite down with that that mouth on my hand and drain some blood from her. All right. Well, that wasn't creepy at all. Hey, everybody. Adam Colbertson here. Hope you're enjoying this. Hope you're enjoying this arc. This arc is a very different, new, new place. Uh, unsettling at the same time of being pleasant. Um, yeah. <laughs> now we get to dive more into that next episode. Thank you so much for listening. And yeah, definitely stick around. Find out what's going on here. Well, are they going to make it out of this place? I, I don't know. And if you are enjoying Microphones and Monsters, head on over to our Patreon. Uh, not only would you be supporting what we do uh, for for upgrades, whatever whatever we need to, to continue the show and, and make it better quality, hopefully in the future, you get ad-free episodes, you get bonus content, you get, hell, if you really want to donate a lot you get a postcard from us uh and of course i'm sure that's going to expand over time on what we can do and everything so of course you can find links to everything at microphonesandmonsters.com all music is written and produced by marco mazzi fallen highway studios again thank you so much for listening we love you and hope you join us next time here on Microphones and Monsters. <laughs>